this year for our capstone project, our team, Daniel Anderson, uh, Caleb Bunsen, Alvin Giovanni, and Maddie Harvack have made a React Native Android app to manage sod for a single sod farmer in South Carolina. Our app is able to add orders, edit orders, and delete orders, assign daily tasks, and manage simple profile settings, such as password, email, username, uh, emergency contact, and emergency contact phone number. Maddie is going to run us through the login page and the home page in just one second. On to you, Maddie. As you can see, we are greeted by the Turf Connections logo along with the login page where we can enter in an email and register for an account. To register for an account, you enter in your name, address, email, password, phone number, and then emergency contact name and number. Finally, once you do this, um, an email confirmation will be sent to your email where you can confirm your account. And then from here, we can log in. And if you ever forget your password, you press the forgot password button. And then you enter the email that was already entered and submit it. And then a password reset link will be sent to your email. Then we will log in. And we are brought to the home screen where we can navigate to orders, daily tasks, or settings. Or for an alternative option, we can go to the bottom and we can go to any of those pages. For now, we are going to the orders page where Caleb will talk more on that. Okay, so in order to add an order, you can click the speed dial and then select add. For adding and editing an order, you only need to complete the delivery date, cut date, sod type, and sod amount fields. The rest of the fields can be left blank. We can go down to the truck driver field and enter a name. To edit a single order, you can select a single order, open the speed dial, and then select the edit icon. Another method of editing a single order is to click on the ellipses of an order and then click the pencil icon. You will have to re-enter the correct sod amounts when edi editing an order. In order to edit multiple orders, you first select the orders you would like to edit, then open the speed dial and click edit. You can change either of the dates. It doesn't have to be both at the same time. We can delete a single order by clicking on the ellipses of the order and then selecting the trash can, the trash can icon. Another method of deleting a single order is to select an order, click the speed dial, and then click delete. If you wanted to delete multiple orders, you would first select the orders that you wanted to delete and then open the speed dial and click delete in the same way as before. Now on to Daniel to show you how to search. To search for an order, we would first collect either the blue set search parameters or we could go into the speed dial and click set search. You're able to search by the cut date, the delivery date, and how recently the order is created the number of orders you would like to display when searching, and then the date range for the orders. The only range you will need is the start date or the end date. 
we'll first start by setting our start date to be from the 13th. We now have a new set of orders that we're able to view. From here, we are now able to search for a single order by typing in what it is, or we can search for the type of grass that it's using. We'll use Bermuda. We can see we have three Bermuda's orders to look at. We can then clear our search and it will bring us back to the front page. To then mark the orders complete, we can select our two orders that we have on top, go to the speed dial and select complete. They have now set to complete. Now all the orders on this page have been set to complete for viewing. Next, we are gonna move on to how the daily tasks could work. In daily tasks, we start with, here we start with one task that is pending that is yet to complete. To make a new task, we click the button in the bottom. We can type any information we want for the top, so we'll just put in some test information. We can then assign a task to any of the users. We're gonna assign one to ourselves to show the in-app notification This is showing that an app, a new task has been sent to you. The notification would also work if the app is in the background and will send a notification to the back of this phone screen. We're now gonna show how to edit an order by assigning this to the account we have just created. So we can show later when completing an order or marking it complete, you can do it with your own task. Next, we're gonna move on to the settings, which Alvin is going to go over. In the settings page, uh, there are various things that you can do. Um, the first of which is view your own account information. Um, here it displays um, all of your account information. You can also edit this information on the screen. Uh, to confirm the updates, you would hit update profile. Um, also on the screen, you can delete your account by pressing the trash can icon and then uh, typing in delete to confirm that you want to delete your account. Now going back to the main settings page, um, you can also change your account password. Um, the way that Firebase authentication works, you have to log in recently to, do, uh, to change your password. Um, if you haven't, um, it will uh, give you a pop-up that says please log out then log back in to be able to change your password. Uh, the next is SOD uh, information. Um, here we have all of the different types of SOD. Um, we can add uh, different SOD types. Um, after clicking on that newly added SOD type you can also add a description um, to each type of sod. To change these, you uh, press confirm. And then you can also remove uh, different sod types if you wish. Uh, going back uh, to the settings page, uh, there's also an about, um, which just shows uh, some information about our app as well as what it has to offer. Um, Users uh, with admin privileges can set managers. Um, each, um, each employee can be demoted or promoted uh, to a manager or down to an employee. On this page, you can also view the emergency contact information for each user. The app requires that you have at least two manager accounts at all times in case uh, one manager del uh, deletes his account so that you wouldn't be locked out of the app. Um, there's also a logout button which uh, logs the user out of the account and navigates back to the login page. I'm going to throw it back to Dan. Uh, he's going to show you a employee level account. Now we're gonna log in with the account we have just created earlier. Then show the functions that they are able to complete. This has been after authenticating the email while going over the other discussed items. We'll start with the daily tasks. You're able to see two sets of tasks here. 
For our own task assigned to ourselves, we are able to mark it complete and incomplete. Which, and then for the other task assigned to Alvin, if we try to complete it, it will quickly change back to incomplete, unable to edit it. The same will work with the editing the task itself and deleting the task. Going over to orders, we would able, still be able to view any orders we would like that have been done, but we will not be able to edit any of the information about the orders that have been seen or made. From this, we can then go to settings. We can still view our account, change any of the information as before. We are able to change our password if we have had a recent login, and we are also able to delete our account. We'll demonstrate this with this test account here. Now, as you can see, we have now received an error showing that we do not have valid credentials to log into the account since the account no longer is made or exists. That should be all. Yeah, that was enough dead time in between to cut the video there.